Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this IKEA logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Photoshop. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have this IKEA logo file over here. You can easily get this logo file from Google. Now we need to do some certain changes over here. So let's do that. First of all, I'll press E and I'll remove this background over here. I don't need that. Then I'm going to choose my select color options and I'm going to select color range. And with the help of this picker, I'm going to pick up this color fuzziness. I'm going to choose 180 and simply hit OK. Then uh, create a new layer and hold alt backspace to apply this uh, color over here now hit ctrl d to deselect it and if you hide this as you guys can see we have this alphabets on separated layer now i'm going to select this layer hold ctrl and click on this layer so it will pick up this background press i on your keyboard to pick up this yellow color and hold alt backspace to apply it then hit ctrl d to deselect it and we will hide this layer now i'm going to se pick select this layer then i'm going to press m on my keyboard to select the selection tool i'll select this layer i'll hit ctrl x to cut it out create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place i'll follow this procedure for all of this alphabet so i can get each and every alphabet on separated layer we will follow this procedure for almost each and every uh, logo animation we will do I'll select this, hit Ctrl X, new layer, press Ctrl Shift V, hide all of them, select this, hit Ctrl X, new layer, press Ctrl Shift V and we will delete this extra layer like this, we will bring this at the top and let's hide all of them. Okay, then press Ctrl S to save this file. Now uh, uh, create another layer and bring this but downwards, then I'm going to press I to pick up this and hold alt backspace to apply this okay so now we have each and every property on each and every separated layer now we need to animate this stuff so let's go to the after effects create a new composition we will call it as main animation width i'm going to choose 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 and duration is uh, one minute and background color white color okay and hit okay then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action then I'm going to press Ctrl I. I'll select my Photoshop file. Import as instead of footage, I'm going to choose composition, retain layers and sizes, and simply hit import and hit OK. Now double click to open this. Select all of them and press Ctrl C to copy. Go over here and hit Ctrl V. Select all of these layers and make it apparent with this back layer. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Let's increase the size a little bit like this. Select all of them and let's hide this. Okay. Like this. Now after that, uh, we will uh, unhide all of them. Uh, I mean hide all of these layers. First of all, we will animate this. Uh, so uh, let's do that. Press Y on your keyboard and I'm going to move this. Hold control and move this over here like this. Uh, then select this, press uh, uh, S, unlink this and let's increase the size over here like this. Okay, then press P for position, create one keyframe, zoom in a little bit. Let's go to around one second, uh, create another keyframe, go to the start and we will bring this over here like this. Then we will go to around uh, one second, select this, press S, create one keyframe, go to around two second and let's make this 37 okay now hit you now select those keyframe and hit f9 then go to the graph editor i'll select this let's do one thing first we will select the position only select this by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here then select the scale options go to the graph select this hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this now at this point i'm going to select this layer move this over here with the help of open square bracket press p for position create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the start 
and we will bring this out of this composition select this hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this now select this layer which is at the backward hit ctrl d bring this at the top select the seventh layer press f4 to enable this options and choose alpha mask so now if i see this animation i'll get something like this so this is just an extra stuff so select all of this and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we will call it as bg and we will hide this now we will enable this layers over here like this now let's select this uh, option uh, and press y on your keyboard and i'm going to move this handle over here like this now select this go to the start press p for position and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and this is going to be our extra layer so i'll choose red color and i'll lock this and i hide this now select this i select this position right click and choose separate dimensions and initially x position of this one i'm going to choose move it over here create one keyframe x go to around one second let's move this over here go to around two seconds i'm going to move this over here three seconds let's move this over here four second move this over here and at five second i'm going to enable this i press p i'll copy this exposition keyframe hit ctrl c select this and over here hit ctrl v so it will come over here like this then we will hide this and lock this again so if i see this now i'll get this kind of stuff now go to the start create one keyframe at y position go over here again create another keyframe on each and every layer now in middle of that uh, let's bring this y position at this point copy this effect Control v Control v Control v and Control v now select this y position keyframes and hit f9 then go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit go to the start right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this by holding shift move this handle over here move this handle over here this one should be over here and this one should be over here same thing we will follow for each and every one okay so now if i see i'll get something like this now go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe hit you go over here and we are going to make it minus one so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff like this over here let's minus two minus three minus four minus one okay like this now we are going to select this layers and let's move this somewhere around over here press p for position create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's uh, select all of this three and let's bring this downwards and select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here okay similarly select this e move this over here select this and move this over here and select all of these three letters press ctrl shift c and let's call it as key e a hit ok go to the rectangle tool and we will create one mask on it like this so if i see this now i'll get something like this okay and then we have this extra one uh, let's bring this somewhere around over here move this press p create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe uh, go to this start and let's bring this upward select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this and move this handle over here 
लाइक दिस ओके हिट यू नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट ऑल ऑफ दिस अपर मोस्ट लेयर्स वी विल डिलीट दिस एक्स्ट्रा वन एंड वी विल प्रेस कंट्रोल शिफ्ट सी एंड वी विल कॉल इट एज टेक्स्ट एनिमेशन एंड हिट ओके एंड वी विल इनेबल दिस बी जी like this and let's move this over here like this okay so now if i see i'll get this kind of animation let's move this at the start only we will get this kind of animation then right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one press s create one keyframe go few frame forward let's make this 90 and let's move this up to 8 second let's make this fit okay like this and then hit n so this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal animation inside of after effects with the help of photoshop